Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me, wanted to know if they could figure out the distance of a cut path. I'm not 100% sure what kind of cut path they're talking about, but these are hairlines and this is a rectangle. And it's 15 by 5. So that's 40 inches of lines. And the way to kind of prove that in this fact, so you have to take this item and convert it to a curve for this to work. Go to a range or some of you might have object and then convert to curve. Then you can open your windows, dockers, prop it, uh, object properties. And right here you have a curve. I've already got it collected, selected. So we have 40 inches. Now, if we look on here, that goes away because this is not converted to a curve. So go up to a range and convert it to a curve. And then you can see this curve line and this is 38.28011 because of the slope sides. So let's just remember that number, 38.0211. Not 100% sure that's what it was. Let's go back to it, 32.2811. And that's what this curve is. Let's double check that. 382811. So we're close enough. I'm going to go ahead and change it. I'm just going to the text editor, which I have a hotkey, and I want to add a zero. So that's our number. And just kind of prove this is correct, let's take this two inch box and put it in the middle and take our virtual segment delete key and delete that line in the middle. Now we've got a space. But we've also got to think about that it's still the same. It's not the same length. It's two inches difference. So now we've got 36, which it was 38. So we've taken out that two inches. I was almost having to say you're going to have to break it, break the path apart, but we actually deleted it. So that's how you can figure out the length of a curve. But it has to be a curve. If you draw a rectangle, it's not a curve until you make it a curve and then that comes up and you click on that and this one's 11.2 inches from line to line anyway i hope that answered their question and thank you for watching